Hello, I'm back again, Lutra FM, with another episode of the So Show You've Only Saved on FM24. Um, where you left us off last, we basically are third in the league at the moment. We've played 11 games, I think, um, and we're doing quite well. But we have some potential game-changing news, um, so I will go into detail about that in a second. Um, I just want to say thank you to the people who watched the first episode since I've come back last week. I much appreciated. And hopefully I can be consistent again. Um, obviously Christmas, bear in mind, obviously I've got family stuff to do, but I'll try and record videos anyway. But yeah, thank you for the people who've been watching again. Much appreciated. I've, I've noticed a lot of returning viewers, so thank you. And um, I'll be back in a sec with the first game. Oh, before I go, I've got a new shirt ready for my of save to um friday but yeah 2021 season shirt it only cost me like 25 quid i wasn't going to spend loads on a coventry top but it's quite nice but I'll, I'll show i'll show people that on the when the coventry save um episode comes out on friday but yeah anyway i'll be back in a sec with the first match of the episode right so we've had some first of all we'll, we'll, we'll tell you about the the good stuff we've had a few of our players get um in teams of the year so we've had uh luke angeli in the fifa um fifa pro under 19 best 11 we had didot in the the um the same one but for the under 20 yeah it's a different yeah under 21s best 11 as well and then we had william pinto and maxime mugin in the um uefa under 21 best 11 um we had Man Manuel Lebrun come runner-up in the under-20 player of the year. Um, Didot won the French, sorry, the France talent of the year. Uh, Angeli was third place in that. And then um, Pinto won the French, uh, sorry, the France men's under-20 player of the year. And Didot was second place on that. And then Didot won the GFFN talent of the year and Angeli was third place in that and then Prin uh, Pinto won the revelation of the year as well which is really good for him and then the following award winners have been announced today and I think it's just basically Angeli won the Trophies France Football de June Jouo Francais de Lyonnais whatever that is and then he was first Mugen was second uh, Cardam was third, and then the France uh, France men's under-19 player of the year, Mugin was first, Gastron was second, and Cardam was third. Um, and then we basically have had a few offers. I'll do it this way. It's probably quicker to do it this way. So we've had a few offers. Oh, well, let me sell this clause first before I forget. Uh, there we go. Right. So... Let's uh, go into detail. So this one's the major one. So I don't know why they say Paisley is a wing back because he's not. But anyway, he's a centre back. But yeah, we've had some very interesting offers. Obviously, we want the Schalke one to happen because it will get us the most money. If I just click on this, um, they're going to offer us 15 million plus 12 million, just 12, over 12 million for two seasons, one and a half million for 20 games played and then 30% percentage. The other two are not as tasty, but they're still they're still very good. Um, both come with all three offers come with thirty percent profit on the next transfer, so we can cash that out at some point. And then we've had a offer for Pinto, um, fifteen million up front, and then a couple of million in add-ons and um, thirty percent clause as well. So there is the reason why I'm doing I'm selling them is because that's what the save is about is selling the players when they're at the peak and then bringing other players through getting good money for the players that we've got um but also like i said the finances are okay but we just we can't just assume they're going to always be okay um so yeah so that's it really that's about as far as we've gone since last episode but they're just um we've also had a takeover offer oh oh um yeah uh, mm, um yeah okay so we've had an offer for Another offer for Paisley um, from a Saudi team, I think. Yeah, out in. So he's probably going to go there, which will probably get us quite a bit of money overall. Um, we, we get 20% of 
profit on the sell-on, but I can't imagine he'll leave once he goes to Saudi Arabia anyway. Um, so I think overall that deal's better than the Shout deal. But yeah, so moving forward, we probably won't have Pinto here as right back, but at least we've got Patricio. And then Paisley will probably be missed, but we've got Hartock that can play there as well. So let's see how we go on. This is a bit of a rotated team. I think the assistant manager has decided to do this because of it being the Coupe de France match. So let's just see how we get on. So I hope you're all okay. I've had a bit of a stressful week. I've contacted, uh, contracted, sorry, wrong word. Um, I've got shingles out of nowhere. So it's very painful. Literally all of last week and most of this week. I was in a lot of pain under my arm and I thought it was um I thought I went too hard at the gym and I pulled a muscle. So I didn't I haven't been to the gym since last Wednesday. I thought it would just ease up and then I went for a walk with the dog. I come back and I was feeling a bit stinky because of sweating and stuff. So I sprayed some antiperspirant on me and it absolutely stung. So I thought, why is that happening? I checked in the mirror and there was a big massive rash under my arm. It was disgusting and it's all on my back as well and it's it's gone on my chest as well. Um, the pharmacist gave me some cream that didn't particularly work so they gave me some antiviral stuff because they didn't realise it was shingles at the time now they know it's shingles so hopefully um, I'm on the mend but it's very painful I wouldn't wish shingles on anybody it is literally it feels like a permanent um, muscle tear under your arm depending on where you get it and then it's really itchy and sore and it's really annoying because I love squeezing spots I know it's disgusting but I think a lot of us do and um it feels like it's bubble wrap on my arm so like every like i can just pop them all after the other but you're not meant to pop them because it spreads and makes it worse <laughs> so it's really difficult for me not to pop them as well um and then yesterday um my poor little dog baxter he got attacked by um a couple of dogs so i've been through uh i've been through a lot the last week or two but he's all right baxter's okay he's he's um he didn't get hurt i think the dogs were just warning him off basically so He's all right. Um, I I did take him to the vets to be on the safe side, but he's fine. Um, so yeah, but he's like I said, he's all right. He's he, he he's just feeling sorry for himself because he's got little dog syndrome, so he thinks he can take on any single dog out there. And these big these big massive dogs um, dented his ego, and I felt I felt really bad because I I tried my best to grab him away from the dogs and I couldn't do it and then one of the dogs actually um, bit my finger so I've got to go and get a tetanus jab today which is not fun so yeah not the best of a couple of days really but you know it could like I said it could always be worse anyway back to this save we're winning one nil didn't make any acknowledgement of the goal because I wasn't really paying attention um, let's take him off Right, I think that's all the rubbish players taken off. Ah, oh, I want one. The last thing we need is another game to be playing. Let's see if we can demand a bit more, see if that helps in any way. Excited to um I mean I'm kind of it's kind of bittersweet. I wanted Eric Ten Hag to get more time but unfortunately in this day and age you can't and also I was just sick of the I won't lie this the, the other Man United fans moaning on um, the side games forums about him all the time so I kind of just wanted Ten Hag to get sacked because I was just sick of them going on about it so he's got sacked we're on the verge I think of hiring um, Amaron um, Amarin or whatever his name is from Sporting I'm really excited about him I just hope it's not another talented youngish coach that we're gonna ruin because there's just something just terribly wrong. Oh God, we've lost. Um, terribly wrong with the club from the inside, and it don't matter who's in charge. It just seems to trickle down. So we'll see. But I'm excited because at least Amarin knows what he wants from his players. He's got a certain style of play, which I don't think Tenag had or if he did the players couldn't do the style that Tenag wanted to do so I'm hoping Almerin um, 
will come into it and just be a uh, breath of fresh air, basically. Uh, anyway, right, I haven't got a game for 18 days, so I'll come back with potential transfer news and our next game. Right, I'm back, and we've had some twists and turns in the transfer saga, so I'll just show you now. Um, so we had an offer from Wolves for Pinto that was bigger than the other offer, so I accepted the Wolves offer and rejected the other offer, and of course Pinto then decides to reject the offer from Wolves. So Pinto hasn't gone as of yet, there obviously is still time if we get other offers for him. But we have got rid of Paisley, um, he went to Alain in the end for 26 million, um, we get like 20%, but this is the big one that come out of nowhere, Rene and Didot, um, 46 rate, um, going up to 56 million, we've got 30% sell on, we've got other clauses as well, um, a hell of a deal for us. For a player that didn't cost us anything for our youth system i mean he could potentially be rated at 95 million i think he'll he will end up going to a bigger club down the road but it, i'm just going to probably cash out his i mean he's already scored on his debut um i'm probably going to cash out his transfer clause as soon as it comes available because i just don't trust the ai to sell him to a big club for it to make it worth our time um I think at the most if you get if they get 95 million then you got you get we get like 30 percent of the 50 odd million profit that they make so we get like 15 million if i get something like 10 million for the sell-on or even 7.5 i'll take it because we've still done really well with this deal anyway i'll just quickly show you clauses in so we've got um 8.75 million after another 48 49 sorry league appearances 40% profit, sorry, I apologise, 40% profit, so actually, that makes it, I forgot it was 40%, that makes it more interesting, maybe, we'll see, we haven't got anything to lose if we leave it for the rest of this season, um, not that he's going to, not that he's going to go in the summer, he's only just signed for Fiorentina, I don't think he'll go, but we'll see if he's, if he's, if he carries on the way he's going, we'll leave the clause, um, again, if they offer us about 10 million, I'll probably accept it, um let's have a look the back we've still got a few million coming in from him the font we've got 50 percent profit on the next transfer for him not that he doesn't look like he's doing any, any well um matthew's 30 percent profit on him uh paisley there we go so we get 7.25 million after he makes 20 league appearances um we get 20 percent profit on the next transfer but i don't think he'll leave because he's on a hell of a wage there 115k i can't imagine many clubs are going to sign him um when his wage is that but he is he is 22 so you never know um and then pop out obviously who who recently left in january we get 20 percent profit on him so we're doing very well let's have a look at the finances 78 million in the bank we had about 20 million before we sold these players so we're we're more than on track weirdly for some reason, our profit and loss is going to be way worse than it was before we sold these players. I never understand this logic, but yeah. Um, but like I said, overall, we're, we've got a very healthy balance. Um, I don't think we need to actually upgrade anything. Let's just check. No, I'll, I'll ask for a new contract, see if we can training camp. But yeah, um, I think that's pretty much it really. Right, so we're playing Braga now. I'm probably might be starting an offline save with Braga soon. They've got excellent. I don't think I've ever seen a team with excellent and uh, they've got excellent training facilities, and um, superb youth facilities. And I don't think I've ever seen many clubs with them, unless I'm just assuming. Um, I, I don't know. I just don't think I've ever seen anybody with that that very good facilities. So I might start a save with them offline. I've just recently finished season. 15, 16 with Bruno Magpies and the Gibraltar national team and um, I just felt like it come to its natural end. I didn't win the Champions League with them but I don't think I ever was going to. So I managed to get Champions League football with them literally every season for about 10 seasons in a row and before that it was Europa League every season. I managed to get Gibraltar national team to the Euros. So I feel like it was its natural end in there um, and I was getting a bit bored of it so... Anyway, right, so Pinto obviously still here. Has he got any offer? Has he got anybody interested in? No. So interest in him has cooled down, which is not a bad thing because we don't really want all of our best players going. Um, so Guggenheim's going to be playing instead of 
um, Paisley, and then who else? Um, Didot. So Cardon's going to come in. Cardon is more than suitable replacements. He's a very good player in the making as well. So we are good. And we've got a big squad as well with a lot of young players in. So we're, we're good on every single side of things. Right, Angeli is slightly injured, so we'll take him off. We don't want to risk it with him. Not too bothered about the Europa League. Decided to put all my Man United shirts out today. Um, you can see in the background. There we go, Bastion. Third goal of the season for him. Great start to the game. we potentially got another chance here. Villa, he's the natural replacement for Popo. Um, I think we've got Rule out as well, who's been here from day one. So he's one of he's one of our subs, I think. I can't see him at the moment. Where is he? Oh, we haven't actually got a goalkeeper on the bench. That's oh yeah. Gurugun. Um I'm quite very well blessed luckily with good goalkeepers potentially. Zerbo. Oh, loses the ball. Sorry. Right. I haven't been getting much sleep with these painful shingles I've had. Um, the only way I can describe it is like having a permanent uh, muscle muscle tear. It's burning, it's painful, you can barely move without being discomfortable uh, uncomfortable, sorry. Oh great, we're just giving them a penalty. Let's see what VAR says. Penalty awarded. Yeah, that's what I thought. Right, okay. Is Villa going to become a hero already? No, he's not. That was a very poor penalty. We should have saved that one. Right, 1-1. One, one. No need to panic. Um, Actually, I've got to panic because my battery is 40%. I have got my charge ring. I'll check in a minute after this game. Right. 2-1, Kofi. Let's have a look. 30%, 18 minutes left. Okay. Um, yeah, don't panic. Everything's fine. Right, Lebrun. Pinto, Zerbo, Gastrin, Mugin, Pinto. Lovely little cross there, headed out. Okay, it's stuttering a bit. I'm so sorry. I don't know what's going on here now. Let me just pause it and then unpause it. No, that's not working. Um, I'm sorry for the juddering. I don't know what's causing it. Is it the battery? Is it my internet? Ah, there we go. I think we're okay. I think we might be okay now. Oh, sorry if this is not very bearable for you to watch. That's fine. We don't need to panic there. 2 1 to us then. Oh yeah, we did have an offer for Kofi, but I um it was a Saudi team and I, I promptly rejected it because I am not selling Kofi. He's here for another three years, like it or lump it. Um, he's a club legend and he'll stay here hopefully for the rest of his career or at least for the next couple of years. Eventually he'll just become rubbish and we'll just have him as a like a impact sub on the bench or, or literally like our mascot, but I just want him at the club for the rest of this save if possible. I like to think that I will complete the objectives that I put in place that I wanted to do um, in the next three years of this, uh, three seasons of this save anyway. So, yeah, we'll see. If Kofi goes, I might end the save there and then. I think that might be the natural way to end things. Right, Braga, we've luckily got the ball off them. I'm so sorry about this being so juddery. I'll figure it out before the next game. Bastion. Zuba loses the ball. Braga have the ball back. Oh, that was lucky. Bloody hell, Andre Horst is still there. Surprised by that one. He must be an old man now. Good header out. Still 2-1. We are the better team so far. Pinto lobs the ball over, gets it back. Oof. 
Terry does know how to do a bit of a, a good long shot on him. Villa with the goal kick. Bastion gives it to Pardon. Thierry takes his time, passes it to Zerbo. Zerbo managed to get past the player. I don't know what he did after that, though. I don't know what he was trying to do. I don't know if that was a shot or a cross. I hope people are watching the network game streams with um, Work the Space, Zealand, Dr. Benji, and Lelujo. It is very entertaining. Um, Kev got found out for cheating. Um, so that's quite funny. So I'm looking forward to see what happens there. Um, hopefully, he'll get punished. He um he signed David Alaba with instalments when they said from day one that people aren't allowed to sign people on instalments. Oh, good save. Um, Dr. Benji has managed to sign Leo Messi for Man United. Oh, that's annoying. 2-2, two, two. right. Um, I can't think. Work the space is actually top of the league at the moment with Liverpool doing very well with them I can't remember what Zealand's doing at the moment with Chelsea I think he's Chelsea manager from what I remember right 2-2 two, two. let's try and demand a bit more because I'm worried they're going to score here I feel like the momentum's on their side good clearance right who do we need to take off Mugin can come off. We will put Gerard on. I think we'll leave the rest for now. Good clearance again. We are literally keeping on to this point with uh for our dear life here. Yeah, so the end the end goal is to oh great. <sighs> the end goal is basically to win the French League and the Champions League with Socho. Uh, who else do we need to take off? We need to take off Thierry, but we haven't got any other defensive midfielders. Oh, we have. He'll do. And then Lebrun needs to come off. We'll put on Carter. Come on, lads. Let's get it going now. Come on. Let's get it. Let's get a point out of this at least. We were winning two bloody nil a minute ago. Gastrin. Kofi, Thierry, Gerard, beautiful pass. Oh, such a shame. Gerard with a beautiful through ball. Zerbo really deserved to end uh, finish that. Um, I don't think we can do much else. Let's try firing up. Take can't take any more players off, so we're kind of stuck with the personnel. We've just got to try and motivate them. I mean, we've had 22 shots, 8 on target. I mean, what else do they want from us? Oh, great. Okay, we'll game over then. Um, right, so to quicken up the process, I'm going to do commentary only because I need to get to the next part of the video. I need to get my charger because I forgot to bring it with me. So I need to get that from the other room, plug it in before the whole laptop closes on me. I will make sure I save the game just to be on the safe side. Right, so... Ends 4-2, fortunately. But we're still third. Um, we were, I think that's the first game we've lost. We have managed to get in the playoffs. I get these out for a few days. Right, so I'll be back in a sec with the next game. Right, I'm back. Um, I decided just to put it on battery saver because I mean, this is the last game of the episode anyway um, because of obviously... The transfer window taking a lot of focus in it. I try and keep the episodes down to about 25-30 minutes, which by the time we finish this game, that will be the case. So I'll be good. But um, yeah, anyway, here's our lineup. Let's crack on. Angeli is back. He's, still, he's not 100% though. Right. Let's see how we get on against Strasbourg. Oh, I forgot to take it off highlight. Um, Commentary only. Okay. Key highlights. At least we're winning 1 0. Right, let's leave it like that. 
goal after one minute is usually a good sign. Okay, that was way too fast, but yeah. Okay, there we go. Right, let's see how we get on. Right. One nil up after one minute. Thierry scoring. Bit of a boring game, though, to be honest. Very far, just the one goal. Miserable day in Socho. Wherever they're based, I can't remember now. Is it Socho, the, the city? I don't know. I can't remember. Oh, Bastian loses the ball. Mugen. I think the reason why it's jittery is the signal, the internet signal is not very good here. So I can only apologise. No, actually, it shouldn't be because it shouldn't. I don't know. Basically, it doesn't matter about the internet, does it? It, it wouldn't be jittering like that. Because it, because it would only be jittering if you lot are watching it. But it wouldn't be jittering for me while I'm playing it. I don't know. Right, two nil. Kofi gets the second goal of the game. As if we get to like four nil by half time, I'm just going to do commentary only for the second half. There you go, three nil. Another goal. We're going commentary. Only. Oh no, yeah. Ah, Mugen's injured by the looks of it. He's not getting up. Yeah, Mugen is knackered. The goal stands though, so that's good. Right, another goal. We get it to 4 0. They're on commentary only. Oh, no. I thought Kofi got the ball off in there. That's fine. Um, yeah, I don't know why it's causing this jitteriness. Is it simply because the charger's not plugged in, the battery's low? Let me know in the comment section, any of the tech nerds out there. Pinto. Oh, I promise it won't be this bad next episode. Right, let's get another goal. Oh, nearly. Nearly. Oh, unbelievable. Man United is playing in the Carabao Cup tonight against Leicester. I'm only assuming that um, Van Nistrooy is going to be in charge because obviously I think uh, Amarin has to work his notice, which is a couple of weeks, not a couple of days. So it depends on whether they can get Sporting to agree to let him go early. I don't know, but we'll see. Yeah, 3 0 at half time. We might have another goal here. I need to take Pinto off though. Patricio can come on for him. But yeah, very good performance in this first half. Doing very well. In fact, I'm going to go commentary only in the second half anyway because of the fact is my battery will die at any minute now. I think that's more entertaining for you lot than watching this at this point, whether, the, whether my laptop's going to shut down during recorded. Only time will tell. Go on, Thierry. Good. Right, let's get another goal before half time ends. Angeli, look at the booth on him. He's got a hell of a hair. There we go. That's what we want to see. Right. There we go. Commentary only. So this second half should go relatively quickly. Uh, Patricio is taking a knock. No, we're not taking you off. Second half probably won't have any goals. Yep, yeah, still 4 0. Can we take anybody else off? No. Four nil. As I, as I assumed, I didn't think there'd be any goals in the second half. It's just one of them games. Still got a bit of time left, but I think it's going to end 4-0 to us. Great result for us against Strasbourg. Um, Friday, I will be doing the Coventry um, City Save and the Retro Database. Unfortunately, Coventry's got taken over by a 
consortium tycoon so it's kind of ruined the joy of the game for me but um i'm just gonna try and push on with it and what i'm gonna try and do is try and sign players that just never made it big um that that were, that were in the database like and just try and get them to become really good players and actually like have an alternative timeline where they actually become the best players in the world hopefully right so that is that let's just have a look at the uh league before we go sorry there wasn't there was only three games in this one but because it because the january transfer window it kind of took a lot of time out of the episode but yeah we're now three points behind marseille two points ahead of lens and 17 points behind psg so we're not going to win the league this season um, but we want to try and get second place. That will be the aim for this season and try and get through the, as far as we can with the Europa League. We're playing Dynamo Zagreb, Paris FC, Rennes and Nantes, um, or Nantes, I don't know how you pronounce their name, in the next episode. So on that note, I'll leave you to it. And uh, I just want to say thank you as always. Um, just Let me just do this. I can't, I can't talk and multitask at the same time, so it's a bloke. There we go. Yeah, thank you as always for watching. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, like the video and I'll see you next Wednesday with another social episode. All the best. Bye.